gentlemen! Alright y'all, today I'm going to make some lo mein noodles. And it's going to be pork lo mein uh, because a short fat guy got in here last night and ate all the chicken. So we're going to make pork lo mein today. And these are the ingredients. First thing, get a couple of pork chops. And then cook some angel hair spaghetti or thin spaghetti, a pound of that. You need some salt and pepper, some carrots, olive oil. This is bok choy. Okay? This is what they put in egg rolls, but you can use like cabbage if you want, or you can use like snap peas, something. You just need something in there that kind of is crunchy. Like I said, you can make the whole thing out of leftovers and green onions. Oh, and never forget garlic. Now we're going to be cooking this on my brand new cowboy wok, also known as a discada. Um, anyway, it works perfectly, so that's where I'm going to cook it. If you've got a cast iron wok, I'd say go ahead and use that also. But cast iron wok is not going to be the same size as this discada that I'm going to be using. So let's go check it out. All right, light my fire. That didn't work. Now, that's the cowboy walk I'm talking about. It's made out of a plow. My buddy made it for me. Check this out. Perfect. Sits up here just perfect. And we're going to let that warm up. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is cook those pork chops. And then we're going to cut them up into bite-sized pieces. All the vegetables, you should have cut those up into bite-sized pieces also. I'm going to go ahead and cook these up. Cut the meat up into small pieces, it cooks quicker. Now, there's one ingredient that's very important that I forgot to tell you about. Kick them on, you need some soy sauce for this. Gotta have some soy sauce. Okay, y'all, that's cooked. So we're gonna push that up out of the way. It takes me a little bit longer because I'm trying to film and cook at the same time. But this whole thing only takes about, hell, five, ten minutes to do. Add a little garlic. And then some onions. And right there, that's a nice smell. We're going to add a little more olive oil. So that penetrates into that oil. Let that sear up a little bit. Okay, y'all, we got that going. Now, let's take that spaghetti. Bam. And bam. Got to, got to get that all busted loose. And the olive oil and the spaghetti helps loosen it up. They say olive oil is good for you, so don't be shy. Okay, that's coming apart real good. I'm going to push it kind of over to the side a little bit, mainly because I want to get my carrots in there. And like I said, you use anything you have, but the carrots are going to take a little longer to kind of cook, <clears throat> so we want to get those definitely in there, get them going. And you see, see how it's busting apart? Got 
Okay, it's just like fried rice. You just got to keep mixing it. And add some salt and pepper. I'm cheating. I love this thing, motorized salt and pepper shaker. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's looking good. You know it's looking good. Okay, y'all, it's time for the bok choy. And whatever else I had left on that plate. What I like to do, once I get that bok choy on there, season it up directly. The soy sauce, salt and pepper right on it. And of course, I pushed all this up over here, so it's kind of out of the way, so I can get kind of a sear on the bok choy. Now, this really isn't going to matter much if you're just sitting around drinking beer, because uh, you're going to get hungry, and this thing smells really good, and so how you cook it really doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, y'all. Here we go. This is the final mix right here. Hey, maybe I'll have to open up a Chinese restaurant with my taco truck. See, the oil lets everything bust apart. See how it kind of falls apart? That's what you want. You don't want a big clump of spaghetti or Loman noodles, as it's now called. Oh yeah, getting fancy, getting fancy. Okay, that's done. Make a bunch of noise, too, while you're cooking. It always brings out the neighbor. That's pork lo mein, guys, and that's my little sample right there. Okay, guys, I finished that pork lo mein. I got my little sample, and this is very important. Even if this was floating in a pool of this, when you go to eat it, you got to add more. That's just the rule, so I'm going to add a little more. I really don't need it, but it's just like fried rice. If, it's, if somebody gave you black fried rice because of the soy sauce, somebody's going to add more. I just ran that right down my arm. <laughs> okay, let's check this out. Alright, you get to watch me eat again. Alright? Mmm. Man, that's good, isn't it? It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. It's good. And like I said, guys, this is easy to make. Just take your old spaghetti and all the leftovers out of your refrigerator and mix it together with some soy sauce and olive oil. You can do it on the, in a skillet, do it in a wok, you can do it in a discada or cowboy wok, whatever. Just do it because this is really a good meal, tastes great, and you know, no reason to go to the Chinese restaurant when you can do it at home for next to nothing. And you can make a lot. And if you do this in deer camp, you will be the man, but the problem is after you do it once, you will be the designated cook from then on out for life. So, that's just the way it is. So, anyway guys, that's pork lo mein. Could have made chicken lo mein. Appreciate you watching. Hey guys, quick reminder, read the description directly below me. Right there. Read the description. There's some links on there. Click them, check it out, and uh, see if you like it. So, check out the links below me.